In this video, we're going to talk about how to select columns from a data frame. So I'm using this DF1 here. It's just this data frame up here of all these different columns, country name, year, population, and then a lot of different populations here. Just to have something for us to look at. And so what you can do is what I like to do is using the dollar sign notation. So if we do DF1 and then dollar sign, it's actually going to populate all of our column names here. So all we really have to do is click on them to put them in. So if I do just DF1 and then the country name, I can press enter and all of a sudden I'm going to get a printout of all of those different column names. Now this is really important because whenever we're trying to work with stuff, it's nice to be able to just quickly grab that even if we don't know the index number. The other thing we can do is always get the column names. So for example, I'm going to do call names. I'm going to do in parentheses and then DF1. So this is saying get the column names as a list um, from the variable data frame one. So if I press enter, you can now see I'm getting that column name list here. And then we can also view just selections of this. There's two that are really handy, which is the head and the tail. So if I do head DF1, this is going to give me the first six columns. So this is really nice if you're just trying to see what does your data actually look like. You can get the head or you can get the tail. And the tail is just going to be the last six columns. If I run tail df1, you can see it's giving me kind of the opposite end. It's the last six columns that are happening there. And then we can always get certain things about our data. So one thing we may want to know is the number of rows. So this is in row and then df1. And if we run that, we see we have 18,288, which is the same number as the end of it. We can also do in call with df1. And that's going to give us the number of columns we have. So you can see that those two numbers actually are the same over here. The observation is the number of rows and the variables is the number of columns that we have. We can also quickly get a summary of our data. So if we run summary, what we get is that for something like a text field, it's going to tell us the length. So this is the number of rows and it's going to give us the class. For number fields, we're going to get this kind of quartile information. So the mean, the median, the first and third quartile, and then the min and max. And so you can see we can really quickly get the means of everything just by running this summary function. That is overall how to look at a data frame in general.